November the November the 29, 2023. Now we did Nurse Yanko, and now we are gonna do both psychiatrists. All right, one psychiatrist, a little bit more. I already did one partially, but now I'm gonna do a second psychiatrist from home for elderly people. Word is about the gentleman who looks facially more or less like this, more or less like this, uh, is clean, 185, 186 centimeters, 186 centimeters, so he's tall, and the back, uh, his, in the back, his hair looks like, like this girl has, like this. Um, like this, okay. precisely like this. This is how he looks. This is a psychiatrist. He is employed at home for elderly people. Um, is not Mr. Stargar. Yeah, we did discuss Stargar. There are two psychiatrists. We did, I did this one here. Uh, I give uh, this show about this man. This is a shorter guy. Uh, not so short at all. Uh, oh, maybe 180 or something like that. Uh, but the other one is uh, taller. Is maybe 186, 187. Uh, and what better way to also finish uh, the issue with a second sake? So Psychiatrist. Now we got a num. Psychiatrist involved in my case since probably 1980 or even earlier was identified today, November the 27. Well, today is November the 29. Why should I wait? Uh, let's just finish the deal. Okay, so that's a home for elderly people. Dom Streshi Hopchano, Novo Mesto, and we're going to do the second psychiatrist, which description I already gave you. He had a haircut like this his entire life, gray color, exactly like this is what it looks from behind. Uh, front, facially, um, round face, rounded face, um, even something like this. Uh, would go, um, yeah, more or less something like that, all right? Uh, you can't go wrong because there are only two. And what I'm about to tell you, his history uh, is even more impressive. You cannot possibly go wrong. This will be used as a criminal evidence concerning that genocide against me, which deprived me of 52 years of life. So, now, I don't have a street maps I would use, but I'm gonna use uh, maybe even my hands to add a little bit to video. Well, you can do something like this if you can do something like that. This gentleman was involved in my case since my early childhood. Uh, this psychiatrist was involved in my case probably when I was... It must have been really, really early because I even remember one departing to the Yugoslav army, where he was, for which he was really, really grateful to me. It was really helpful to him. Uh, back then, to me, unknown reason. There must have been really, really, really very, very, very early on. The only thing I'm going to say to you, basically, is like this, and these are the things that 
you can refuse no matter what. I uh, met this individual at, I am pretty sure that this was a general hospital, Novo Mesto, uh, where they would deliver me after, well, no, he was involved already before. I'm going to get to that. But once he became a psychiatrist, okay, once he became a psychiatrist, okay, stop. How did he become a psychiatrist? <laughs> well, through this case, um, the individual who would examine me originally was, after every MK Ultra session, meh, they start doing this stuff. I was really more from a cowboy movie or something like this Western. There was no fucking assistance. There was nothing. They did this stuff to have something written down, basically. But this was the world of sharks. Um, just about at any mission, I should say, every, every mission was the point of no return. I would say that every mission I returned from was a fucking miracle. Nobody believed this shit is going to go on. The psychiatrists that were involved in this stuff, the least have believed that I would keep coming back to them. So the Serb who was original psychiatrist, and this is what a little bit fucks me up because I don't know was this in Ljubljana or was this in Novo Mesto? I don't know because I remember that this was inside of the very not much I remember because obviously they did not want me to remember this. But to me, it felt like that I go into some kind of office. It felt to me like I am on a higher floor. Um, there was not one psychiatrist over there or I should say physician, probably. It might have not everybody been a psychiatrist. It might have been other physicians. Actually, they have two facilities, right? Uh, one was in some other location, then another one probably really was here in the Novo Mesto. Uh, but based on my memory, uh, this man worked in a department where there was like more physicians. He had more colleagues. Uh, he was working next to this original guy, Serb. And I would, even once he became a psychiatrist, uh, a report to the either of the two. Um, this Serb, however, this is what fucks me up a lot. This was again military officer. This was again, this psychiatry again was a military individual. <sighs> he got upset one time with me saying, because I was keep coming to him, I, I, I started to request him. And he said, what do you think you are and this and that? You go to my colleague and this and that. Uh, why don't you go to my colleague and so on and so forth? Why do you keep coming to me and so on? Um, a bit hard to identify this guy because of two reasons. Ljubljana was one place and Novo Mesto was the second place. Upon each end of MK Ultra session, sometimes probably beginning H4, probably I would say, I would have to report both. Janus Jansha was extremely handy at all that stuff. It would be frequently Janus Jansha that would deliver me to Ljubljana. As to Novo Mesto, it was a different option. It was a different thing. These were like a couriers. 
for the Yugoslav military. Now, you don't say that the Yamsha is not owed by individual. I mean, this is insane. Um, this individual, for what I know, is he worked in the hospital. Uh, his trainer was a Serb. That was a military officer also, a Serb psychiatrist. He, the way I see this stuff, departed in a Yugoslav military very, very early, and I think he employed himself as a psychiatrist, I would even say, maybe the hell when I was age 6, 7, 8. You understand? I'm going to go with nothing other than what I stated. That's basically what I'm going with. What exactly that means? He employed himself at the hospital, in my opinion, sometimes in 1978. Hmm. And transferred himself to the home for elderly people. Sometimes, I would say, in 1987, I would say. Yeah? How about that? 1987. Um, actually, you know, I'm going to say 1988. Uh, he liked me and stated he's going to go to Home for Elderly People because I had the strongest connections at the Home for Elderly People. Uh, this is basically how they got people removed from the process, I think. They, took, they, they brew you, they brew you something, and, you know, uh, next to the Home for Elderly People was also there is a home for mentally people with mentally insufficient intelligence quotient, basically, uh, um, how do you would say this? Um, um, mentally disabled, yes, mentally disabled people. Um, they, they really liked me at uh, both of these places, but guess what? I really was not too much damn excited about it. But on the other hand, those are really Slovenian people. Uh, and uh, during MK Ultra, that was uh, kind of luxury to be around Slovenian people, you know? So this guy transferred himself with what he said to help me out, to home for elderly people in, I'm going to go with 1988. And two years later, right, two years later, his colleague, which I already have described here uh, as a Stargar, followed on him. He was not happy. This man did not like me too damn much. Um, he was quite angry with me. I guess he got a little too much of those uh, uh, views under his head, talking about the Yugoslavia. Or maybe fear. Milan Kuchan is a, that was a mighty man. A man who reported to Josip Brostita to Belgrade. Hey, since my childhood, man who was in charge for Udba in Slovenia. It's a man everybody should be afraid of, really. Uh, so this guy got in a severe disagreement with me sometimes in 1986 at the hospital. I think he was at the hospital. That's what I think. Um, this could be disputable because there was another location here in the city of the Nova Mesto area, which exactly I'm not sure of, uh, where they would also take me and where also psychiatrists were. But I think this was also at a hospital, Nova Mesto. I would say. Uh, and uh, two years after, a gentleman 
I pointed out, joined home for elderly people. So also when this man joined. In 1991, Slovenia became independent. And guess what happened? Uh, the first one, uh, I think it was this man that had a very negative impact. And maybe this is why he joined. Uh, I think this is what he joined for. He did not like me at all and even suggested he's going to convince the other guy against me. Literally like this. Uh, probably convinced this man somehow uh, to turn back to me. But I think the real reason for this stuff was uh, Milan Kuchan, who was a visitor of this home for elderly people and all these affairs involved in my case. Uh, you couldn't afford yourself much to think even in what became newly funded independent Slovenia. So now instead of the two friends I should have at home for elderly people, I had instantly two enemies, and these two enemies were the two psychiatrists. But don't you lose your hope too fast. These two guys soft and somehow, for whatever reason that might have been, I do not know, probably to get the game going, uh, because it went into the war zone, really. Uh, and with this man, who always liked me, I would even go to Gorianzi to pick up mushrooms, etc., etc. Uh, and then sometimes in, I think it was like, 1998, everything changed. He uh, just totally lost it, uh, became completely disillusioned. Society pressure, I have no idea what. But he wanted to get rid of it. He wanted to destroy me. Sometimes in 2004, it was a psychiatrist, Peter Kopsch, who made end to this torture saga at the home for elderly people performed by these two psychiatrists. Of these two psychiatrists, this individual was more aggressive than the man I just identified two days ago. This was a really ultra aggressive guy. He became really ultra aggressive. And the other guy also since 1998 and up became completely insane. Uh, angry, aggressive, extremely abusive. Every visit to home for elderly people was like about psychi psychiatric, psychological, screaming, yelling, threatening, you know, torture, basically. That's what it was all about. Uh, it came clear, however, the psychiatrist Peter Kopsch, very unlikely that would come to rescue me. Uh, the two, the three of them played with me in front of one another. They were like handing me, throwing me around like a ball, basically, making impression on me uh, for his sake, and he would make impression for their sake, etc., etc. It was brain fucking. I don't think that I have much I would add to all of this stuff. Um, once I uh, started to create more and more proofs about it, beginning in the 2018, and you know they couldn't bury me, no matter what I tried. Uh, it seems their tails turned in the opposite direction. And they were willing, according to the words, to even assist me. However, this assistance, as this is completely evident, became with nothing other than crime against me. That's what my father was used for all the way till the last, till the, till the end of the time, as much as they possibly could in accordance with the Novo Mesto Police Department. They felt, and I'm going to press criminal charges against them, Contrary to what the Novo Mesto director, who suggested me that I should use the two 
for a reference because the two know so much about me, especially this guy who was involved since my early childhood in the case, before he even became a psychiatrist. Imagine this. So, um, the man who have seen all this and it's going to be so beneficial and so on and so forth. For that matter, you're going to go to the November the 23rd. I'm going to put the link right below like this, bada -bum, like that. And then you can hear how I destroyed a director from a new director from uh, from this uh, home for elderly people. The new director for Home for Elderly People, I'm going to load a little bit more into MK Ultra, who came from Ljubljana, but was director at the Home for Elderly People 20 years ago already, this lady, uh, with the same last name as psychiatric nurse from Ljubljana, Polje. Uh, her name was Andrea Jeric, and... Her name is Mateja Jeric. So they, the two share the same last name. Um, quite disappointed me because when she was younger, I would do absolutely everything possible I could to make the best impression on her. Uh, I, I actually even remember when she joined home for elderly people, and I was, you now, according to psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, I, nobody wanted to see me anymore, and they introduced her in it, which is a rather kind of strange stuff, isn't it? Because they always introduce somebody into something, etc., etc., and I really did everything possible I could to make a good impression on her, and, uh, she miserably failed because it became evident that this whole thing was about something else. Behind the flirt, she couldn't really see me, stand me, I realized. Um, she would come here from Ljubljana on a visit back to Novo Mesta where she had a father and mother, uh, almost like on a weekly basis. But it became evident that after she left for Ljubljana uh, and she was even forced to meet me at the home for elderly people, that she rather was bothered and disturbed with it, uh, did not really like me, to put it this way. And, uh, you know, uh, the way she suggested for this whole issue was like the two of us are going to work together to resolve this, how we are going to resolve it. This shit happened like upon like thorough torture I would endure in this home for elderly people. Uh, like they tried to instill in me confidence in her through rather some crazy shit, I'm going to say. I'm going to put it this way. And, you know, being tortured and meeting person that you know you came to realize it does not really give a fuck about you. Uh, this isn't really pleasant, actually, to put it this way. Unless you want to fake and uh, be nice about it, whatever that means, um, this is just not for me, really, because I don't think that I should be nice about any of this stuff. You understand what I'm saying? You get it. If you don't, you will. I don't have anything else I would add to this. Um, bring it on.
Today, again, is November the 29, 2023, and basically this is the way it's done. I'm actually thinking about something else here. Have I actually made a mistake here? Because it's more information that open up for me right now. I started to view vision some other information, obviously. Uh, Ljubljana, I came to point that they would take me on examinations also to Ljubljana, Loise Peterle, Janes Jansha, when MK Ultra sessions would end, they would deliver me to the psychiatry department in probably general hospital and that was on a high floor up that must have been Ljubljana as for the novel Mesto, uh that was not quite like this that was not exactly like this the setting so I'm trying to figure out what else I can think about that stuff there's also another issue that, that uh, kind of bothers me um, uh, the man that I demonstrated here, the shorter guy, the psychiatrist, uh, what I think is Stargar, um, I would almost say that he is younger, you know, that, that he became a psychiatrist. He also was involved, in my case, since childhood. And uh, that he became a psychiatrist about probably what I estimate, uh, I would even say maybe like, two years later or something like that. They're more or less of the same generation, uh, but I would say that this man joined a, a, a field of psychiatry maybe like two years later or something like that. So that may, actually I'm calculating right now because I said the other man joined in 1988. That means that, uh, you know, Six would be 1982. That's about me being age 11. Um, yeah, something like this it must have been. And then the other guy, 1989, might be age a more or less nine or so. So this is basically as far as I can go, and with so many people involved in it, giving the account like this, uh, that's actually a really, really good, uh, that's a really, really, with a precision, with uh, extra attention to detail. You know, I especially like Janis Jansha and Loise Petrle that would deliver me to Ljubljana. To psychiatrists to examine me. Uh, so, uh, this man had a psychiatrist that was military officer, a military officer, and this man was served the military in a hospital. That means that he already was a psychiatrist and he served the military in the Belgrade. That's the fuck I'm going to tell you about this. Now, that's all I got to say because I remember his military hospital where he was at. You understand? My age at the time when this guy was... Now, that's an interesting cookie. I would go to about 9 or 10. And I probably am not wrong for a single millimeter. Thank you for watching this video. That's how that's done. Till next time. It will be next time. It will be.